Good morning. It is Wednesday, July 3rd, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. In the Ave Maria Radio app, I'm Matthew Handley. Today's the Feast of St. Thomas the Apostle. Coming up, married couples seem to be happier than those who are focused on a career, and we'll explain why. But first, your local weather and this news. Prosecutors are arresting their case in the trial for the man accused of murdering Samantha Wall. The trial for Michael Jackson Bolanos began on June 10th and included almost 11 full days of testimony so far. He's accused of stabbing the Detroit synagogue president in the head and neck eight times on October 21st. The trial is currently behind schedule. Three Michigan congresswomen, including Debbie Dingell, Rashida Tlaib, and Haley Stevens, have raised concerns to NOAA's Richard Spinrad about the lack of a warning before a devastating tornado hit Livonia on June 5th. The tornado tragically claimed the life of a young boy and injured his mother. In their letter, the representatives emphasized the critical role of timely emergency alerts during national disasters and questioned the effectiveness of current alert systems. They urged NOAA to provide explanations on why the tornado was not detected early, the protocols for issuing warnings, and plans for improving tornado detection and warning systems. A new bill in Lansing aims to reinstate the ban on bump stocks in Michigan following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to lift the federal ban imposed during the Trump administration. The accessory, which enables firearms to fire more rapidly, gained notoriety after its use in the 2017 Las Vegas mass shooting. Democratic Senator Dania Palenki of Livonia introduced the legislation to prevent bump stocks from being used in potential mass shootings, proposing felony charges and fines for possession or sale. The bill aligns Michigan with other states that have banned bump stocks, although it faces opposition from groups arguing against the ban's efficacy and legality. On the auto beat, General Motors saw a slight increase in sales in the second quarter, but posted record electric vehicle deliveries. The automaker reported a 0.6% increase on sales year over year for the first quarter and is sitting down 0.4% in sales for the first half of this year. GM sold a record 21,930 electric vehicles during the quarter and says retail EV registrations are up 17% so far this year. Stellantis sales dropped sharply last quarter. The federal government is giving Detroit $20.7 million in a Rebuilding American Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity, or RAISE, grant. The money will be put to use expanding the Joe Louis Greenway, according to the Joe Louis Greenway Partnership co-chair, Megan Elliott. So I know for the folks that live on the Near East Side that have been waiting for a very long time, when are we going to build off of the Dequinder Cut? Where's that going to keep going north? This is the project. This is the time. The grant will improve Woodmere Street and Dequinder Street, and that is where the Joe Louis Greenway meets Dequinder Cut. Construction will start late next year. This is Michigan Mornings. Now this. Ever thought you'd make a bundle by trading in or selling your used vehicle only to find out it's worth a dinner for two? Well, it's much more valuable to donate your vehicle to Ave Maria Radio. Thousands of Americans donate their vehicle each year. The donation to Ave Maria is easy, tax deductible, and supports our efforts to evangelize. A year from now, will you remember that dinner or your gracious and selfless donation? Go to AveMariaRadio.net to find out more. That's AveMariaRadio.net. We'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Our high will reach 88. Tonight will be partly cloudy. Once those rain showers move out of the area, lows will dip to around 68. On Independence Day, we'll have partly sunny skies and highs around 88. Friday will be partly sunny with rain likely in the afternoon. Highs will be in the mid 80s. And Saturday will be mostly sunny with highs in the lower 80s. In the Saginaw Valley today, we'll have a chance of scattered showers throughout the day. Highs will be around 84. Tonight, the rain clears out, leaving partly cloudy skies and lows around 65. For Independence Day, we should have partly sunny skies with highs around 87. On Friday, the rain returns and highs will be in the lower 80s. Saturday will be mostly sunny with some scattered showers, temperatures in the upper 70s.
Why are married couples generally happier than others who are more focused on, say, money or a career? Brad Wilcox, author of Get Married, joined Teresa Tomio to discuss. As I kind of argue in the book, we are hardwired to connect, and yet there's so many forces out there that are basically pushing us to be, you know, disconnected. And I think, obviously, most recently, it's sort of smartphones and social media, but there are these other factors that we just touched on, too, in the way in which our culture tends to kind of prioritize consumerism or careerism. And these are things, too, that really lead us to disconnect from our spouses and often from our children. So... Um, We're just kind of facing an uphill battle right now in recognizing and realizing that that which is most important is often that which is closest to us and that sort of the products of a, you know, of our colleagues at work or some random people on the internet are, are not that important. So in terms of your book, what does it show about the impact marriage has? Let's start with not only the couples. You mentioned that already in terms of the happiness factor. But what about children? What impact does it have on children? Well, in looking at the data on marriage and kids, I mean, there's just tons of research showing that kids are more likely to flourish when they're raised by their unmarried parents. You know, they are, for instance, uh, much less likely to be sad, much more likely to be steering clear of drugs and alcohol, but I think the most striking finding for me in this research for the book was that I found that young men who are raised apart from an intact married family, you know, apart from their married dad especially, um, were more likely to end up in jail or in prison than they were to graduate from college. And by contrast, young men raised by their own <clears throat> parents and their own uh, intact uh, biological home were about four times more likely to graduate from college than they were to spend time in prison or in jail. So it's just kind of an incredible connection between kind of family structure and flourishing kids and someone especially flourishing young men. Catholic Connection is coming up at 8 a.m. right here on Ave Maria Radio. does it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. I'm Matthew Handley. You can stay connected with me on X. I'm at Radio Handley. Lord willing, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.